I'm going. Pedro Pascal spoke openly in conversation with Sarah Paulson for Interview Magazine about how he almost gave up on his dream to become an actor. He said his vision was that if he hadn't gotten major exposure by 29 years old, well, then it was over. So, Cadence, do you think that you should put a deadline on your dreams? Absolutely not. Okay. No. No, it's a marathon, not a sprint, you know? <laughs> That's the thing, being, being an artist, you're gonna face constant rejection. It's like over and over. Mm -hmm. And it requires a certain kind of resilience. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think you should quit unless, you know, of course you're kind of whack. <laughs> but then how do you know you're, let's see, here's a question. How do you know you're whack? I think that's also No, like, no, I mean, you, usually it's like, your family won't give you props or anything or like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No one's you encouraging you, you along the way. Yeah. The bills. Like, what if you got yeah. that sort of singular focus on this dream and you're having a hard time making ends meet? Like, at what point does it become a pragmatic decision? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, you should keep going. Okay. When it's like, that's not the barometer, like, whether you're making money or not. Mm -hmm. But it's like, is it resonating for you? Is it resonating for an audience? Is it resonating for, like, people in your world? Yeah. You know, it, 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 and, and also, it's not, I don't like the idea of, like, quitting or, like, quitting, stopping your dream. Right. It's more like, Maybe you need to focus on something else that you're actually better at, too. Mm. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like, it's not so much about giving up on a dream as it is about being maybe flexible with the mm. dream. Like, if mm. Jai came to me, like yourself, and said, like, Mom, I want to be a musician, <laughs> which he probably will, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I want to be a bass player for a living, I might say, rather than, like, killing the dream, I'm not going to kill the dream. I'm not going to say no, because my parents didn't do that for me. I will be but killing I the dream. But I might say... <laughs> Don't you? Really want dream? You, I will be killing the dream. Why you do you kids want to be a musician? Oh, yeah, no, no. I want him to be, like, a lawyer or, like, a what? You just contradicted yourself. Wait, you're an artist. How could you tell your kid not to become something that you are? Oh, you know, because I know it's it's a very hard life, and you know, it's my son. I want him to. Oh, wait, wait, have wait. A this is so interesting. Wait, you're speaking to something that I know very well, because I think there. Are, I was raised in a generation that I call the dream killer parent generation. Yeah, yeah. Right. Our parents came from other countries. They yes. came here for a better life, and so they had expectations that their children would get jobs that were stable. This is why they came here. So when you say to them, "I want to be a Puppeteer. They go, no, 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 no. You Please. came here to be a teacher. You came here to be a doctor or a lawyer. And I just think there's so many examples of people whose dreams came true, like in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, mm -hmm. that I don't think it's fair to ever tell someone to give up on their dream. No. Right? You gotta be, my, no, but you, you gotta, gotta look okay. I'll give you an example. Toni Morrison didn't write her first book until she was 40. She didn't uh, win her first Pulitzer until she was like 56 and she okay, won her Nobel at 62. I love it, I love it. Listen, so how do we tell her listen, not to dream? At, for every story like that, there's thousands of stories of people who never ever got recognized. So I just mm. wanna be clear about that and the pragmatic. I'm not gonna kill a dream, but what if instead of if somebody comes to you and says, I wanna be a musician, saying something like, what else? Is there related to that that you can? Maybe it's oh, music therapy. No, exactly. Maybe it's like things that are also like you got to get clear about what it is that brings mm. you joy. Because you can always be a musician on the side. You can always be a music teacher. Like what are the pragmatic things? Because you are gonna have to live somewhere. You are gonna have to put feed yourself. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, there are some pragmatic considerations. So it's like the dream needs to not be so rigid. I think you need to like have a Oof. dream that's broad. But then if you talk to the people who really have made their dreams come true, they'll tell you there was never a plan. Plan B, and the, the worst thing you can do is give yourself a Plan B or an out. You but we only know their it. story because that was the one of the thousand that made it. I know, yeah. but there's I so think many to me, like what I what I focus on, at least for Pedro Pascal, not that I'm a huge follower of his, but he's got a big fan base, right? Yeah. And he said 29, otherwise it was over. In that story, Sarah Paulson was saying she was giving him money so he could feed himself. Mm -hmm. Like there's a certain point in life when you're a 29 year old man, if you mm -hmm. can't feed yourself, you kind of have the really. He's clearly very talented. Mm -hmm. I want to know from Sarah Paulson and Pedro Pascal the names of all their other friends who were in their crew at the same time before they got famous who didn't make it. So I bet yeah. you there's so many Countless of their other people. friends. Yeah. And so, yeah. and I do believe that we like to think that we're living in this meritocracy. The best will always make it. Nope. And sometimes it's just pure luck. Yeah. And there are a lot of talented people out there. who hang on in there and they don't give up on that dream. Those are I don't know. Oh. I mean, yeah. some, some people hang on forever, though, and they actually do need to quit, though. I'm not going to be the one to tell them. That's all I'm going to you, no. you have to make that decision on your own. You're not going to hear yes. it from me. Hey there. What did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.